Previously on The Witcher 2. So, we were left to fight the Kira, which, um, as it turns out, is fairly simple. It's a Zelda style battle of chopping off several limbs of glowy bits, which you need to track down with an Erden, um, after which you basically need to run up a bigger ramp at the end of the fight, even though he's only half down. You run up this ramp, and if you manage to reach the end, which is not that difficult, you just bomb the sucker and bobs your uncle. So, um, after that, we deserved a bit of a party. Unfortunately, though, it turns out that we drunk a little bit too much and ended up um, without any of our glorious gear. Fortunately, we met uh, this highly unhelpful dude on the beach who really didn't get us anywhere. So that was a couple of minutes in there. But in any case, we quickly got back on our way after this uh, by meeting Triss who let us know that we need to interrogate an elven prisoner who was stuck on the prisoner barge. Um, he was sorely abused and near death, so we raised him back uh, with some spells, after which he let us know about what Letho was doing with the Scoia'tael, and in particular the backstabbing that Letho had done. Um, his favorite place to hide out, though, was the Rose of Remembrance bushes, near that elven, um, elven relic that we'd found earlier. So, fortunately, that quickly came to mind, and we went in there, where we um, had a tender moment with Triss, who let us know about the, the, the myth behind the roses, the, the legend behind it. So, clearly, it was time for us to use a little bit of our, you know, our charm, our witchery charm. And we managed to woo Triss, who was clearly impressed with our with our social skills. And um, she ended up showing her gratitude in, um, well, several creative ways, really. Um, she was quite grateful, I, I should say. Uh, in the meantime, you know, the, the elves started hunting for us and, and um, approached above, but we were, you know, kind of occupied still, so... Never mind the Scoia'tael, there were more important things at hand, uh, you know, going on, uh, it's, never mind. So, um, let's get somewhere else. See, <coughs> afterwards, she managed to uh, let us know what exactly we need to do, which is to go directly to Orveth, Yorveth. Uh, unfortunately though, Yorveth uh, has an Arrakis as a pet for some reason. I'm not quite sure why he needed to fight that one, but apparently he was guarding the way to Yorveth. So, Chop, 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 and lots more chopping, because this guy had an incredible shell of armor that we just couldn't get through. But fortunately though, his attacks weren't that damaging, or at least they were damaging, but they were easy to avoid. So all it took was a lot of running, rolling around, chopping, and doing more chopping, before we finally got to talking with Yorveth. Now, the talk with Yorveth was quite interesting. It was a question of there what does Letho want with Letho him. Want and we pointed out that uh, Letho was betraying him and trying to kill him. However, Yorveth didn't actually trust us enough. He still wanted an encounter with Letho just to verify whether we were even the truth. Uh, we ended up having to lead um, Yorveth to Letho and try to, to talk the truth out of him. Oh, uh, Hulter, um, so in the meantime, we were being watched by his men. But never mind, we approached Letho and tried to have a talk with him. Now, unfortunately, that didn't go exactly as planned, as we were very quickly ambushed by Rocha's men. And that really put a damper on things. The other problem was, Yorthes needed his sword back. And and I, I just got stuck. I needed to doubt and didn't know God, what to do oh and ended up giving Yorveth his sword, which is going to be Wait, no, no, no. monumental oh, later, shit, apparently. So we ended up in a huge fight and while while the Scoyatel and Roche were fighting, me and Letho started to square off and of course he managed to kick us back down into the bathhouse where Triss was very With grateful to us over there. And uh, we ended up in a one on one fight. Now, this was quite tricky since he also had his witchery uh, spells and he managed to, you know, block quite a few of the things and he wasn't really harmed, as you could see. So we ended up trying to trap him with Erdin, which appeared to be the way to deal with it. We could just sneak up behind him and give him some major damage. So we tried to do that a couple of more times, just try and trap him, move around, try and avoid his swings until we could finally get him down. But again, we got him half down. And the fight took a turn for the worst. 
he basically blasted us against a wall and that's when it got creepy he was clearly after Tris, just after we'd uh you know uh, reconciled with her several times so um he tried to trace her down and when we got back to flotsam we saw the result of giving the sword to yorveth flotsam was burning oh, with revolt on, the humans were killing all the non-humans in vengeance oh, and all oh, we were left on. with was Can trying to figure out at the end do we talk the to vernon roach orders? or do we approach the scoyatel what do we do which direction do we okay, go um, this you know time what? on witcher 2